Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will be recreating the James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist look. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've already done my brows and if you want to see how I do that you can check out my brand new updated brow tutorial. So we're just going to hop right into the look. I'm going to start off with my base. If you guys haven't noticed, I haven't been wearing foundation in my latest videos because I'm in the process of trying to find my perfect shade. All of my shades have either been too light or a little bit too dark for me so I just do a base concealer which I heard isn't like that big a deal. I usually do the triangles under my eyes and then a little on my forehead. Sorry if y'all can see my mirror. <laughs> I'm currently working on a good filming setup because I don't have a good one at the moment. Then after that I'm going to take my other concealer which is a little bit lighter and I just go in with this one on my blemishes that I have. You know, teenage life, we all get little pimples. Now we're just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. James Charles is literally like the queen. When I found out he came out with the palette, I was so, 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 so happy because as you guys know, James Charles is probably my top favorite beauty guru in the entire industry. Though I have a lot, James is like, my favorite one because he started at a very young age and he's booming and I'm trying to be booming like James, okay? Let me tell you. I love this concealer. Look how full coverage it is. We're going to contour. Now that I have concealed and contoured, I think I'm going to start getting into the eye makeup. So this picture has a lot of looks on it. I couldn't even begin to tell you which one I'm gonna start with. So we're just gonna do like a random little picky pick of what I'm gonna start. Did I just say picky pick really? I think I'm gonna start with the eyes because it's probably the easiest part, um, the eyes. So we're gonna do the, oh, I don't have that blue. I really wish I had the palette. I can't wait till I get the palette so I can do a video showing you guys the look with the palette. But I don't have one yet. Cause they're all sold out. <laughs> but it's fine. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the red eye. Um, mine might be a little backwards. That doesn't look bad. I actually kind of like it right now. I kind of look like I have, like my eye is bruised. Like I just got punched. Through the red, he has some uh, hearts. Okay, so I've got all the hearts. So now the next thing we're gonna start working on is the honeycomb looking things. glitter in it so it can look like it's like really drizzling like honey okay now I'm gonna do the blue eye I don't know how I'm gonna do it but we're gonna figure it out right now I'm just trying to really make my eye light so that when I put this color on it won't look green it will look blue and now we're going to add it and see if it turns out good I hope it does so he has like a dark inner crease and then it gets lighter. So we're gonna go in with this. Oh, this looks purple. Oh my gosh. Let's fix it up. There, if you mix it, it looks blue. And now we're just going to take some concealer and fix it up. Now that that's done, we're gonna go in with the purple and pink that's across the nose and add the galaxy stars, which is gonna be hard because I don't have white, but we're gonna figure it out. Now 
Now with the white eyeliner, we're gonna make the stars and all of that. Hopefully I have enough in here. Cause I remember not having any and like putting water in it or something. Wow, I actually have some, that's good. And that is way too dark. <sighs> I just wanna add a little bit more pink into my, um, my nose. My nose is a little too purple and I kinda look like I got hit or something. So we're gonna add some pink on here. Okay, and now for the fire look that he has, we're just gonna go back into this red and mix it. Um, why did I go in with white? Why did I think that was a good idea? All right, that's good enough. And now for the little gumdrop looking um, bubbles that um, he has, we're gonna go with some pink and just make some circles. And then highlight it with some white. All right, we got the bubbles. <laughs> okay, not really liking the neck part, but just like, let's just act like that didn't happen. All right, now for the lips, we're gonna do a little hack because I don't have that color on my lips. This is just gonna act like a glue. If you don't have black lipstick, just tap into a black eyeshadow. Just gonna fix it up with concealer and I think I'm done. that was so good oh my gosh <laughs> i would give this whole thing uh like a seven okay <laughs> for me at least because i think what made it a seven was the flames were not good at all i messed up when i added the white and i don't have an exact orange so that was kind of bad i was sitting here like a painter kind of like mixing colors um i like the hearts with the concealer i'm surprised that actually turned out good and the beehive honeycomb things i wish they weren't black like that but the idea with not having red lipstick and using eyeshadow was like pretty genius, I have to say. And I love my Galaxy. My eyeshadow overall was pretty, pretty good. I love this blue side a little bit. Um, the bubbles were okay. They need to be a little bit darker, but yeah. And yeah, this is just like probably the worst part of it all, but it's okay. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I know I haven't done a makeup video in a while other than that eyebrow swear I just posted. Um, so I'm getting back into that. I just wanted to branch off and experiment with different types of videos. But yeah, the makeup is not going away. I'm still that guru. Um, if you guys enjoyed this look, make sure you check it out on my Instagram. Um, give my Instagram a like and follow me at C Makeup. Also follow my main Instagram, Sierra X Andrea. Follow me on Twitter. I don't really post that much, but I will be posting a lot more. I'm gonna try. Follow my TikTok at CRX Andrea. Thank you for getting me to 81K. You guys are the best. Subscribe to my channel, become a king or a queen. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.